Welcome back everybody to August 2024, 9.30 a.m. EST miniseries on my Grim World, my main play world, uh, where we resource gather every day. A new item, new crop, new whatever. <laughs> like I said, a new item. So today we are going to be doing cactus. So you can see I'm just out here in a desert where cactuses grow. Uh... They also grow in the Badland part of where the red sand is. And they only grow on sand or uh, red sand, of course. So, you know, this is the basic way when you're early game. Go out to the desert, find cactus, punch them, and then take them back to your base and regrow them. Or plant them out in the desert and just have a natural, beautiful, huge cactus farm, which does cause lag if you go super duper um huge and naturally they grow three tall i mean some of them i've seen well no because i think they only can grow three tall in nature you can you can stack them as high as you want and then you know you take damage when you're stepping on them so could be a good building block and good defense around your base kind of like uh sweet berry but this is a lot better for damage <laughs> and oh see the little bunny took damage he almost died and this is probably the most inefficient way to gather cactus but hey like i said you gather enough to uh start planting them around your area or you know making a cactus farm which i will show off is super duper easy like I said, you just plant, replant them, and they do their own thing. They can harvest themselves, which is awesome. We're just going to gather a stack out here if there's enough to gather a stack. And eventually we'll uh, come back through and harvest a bunch of sand. <laughs> uh, oh, there's some more. Oh, got to careful of that. Oh, diorite. All right. And then, of course, if you break the uh, block underneath of it, Cactus will pop off as well. Oops. Uh, Alright, let's get these guys. And then I'll make my way back to my base and show off an automatic cactus farm. Uh, let's go over here and grab these while we eat. That should give us pretty much a stack now. Bust these guys out. Uh, let's get these two. Boom. 63, 64, and a little bit extra. <laughs> All right, I will see you back at my base in a moment. BRB. All right, so we're back at my base area, and with the automatic cactus farm, you literally just need to place it on a, some sand and put a slat, or, well, I think you could put any block. Fence, iron gate, or chains, uh, walls, glass panes. I think even solid blocks might work or slabs might work. I don't know. But I, I usually just use a fence because they're easy to obtain early game. And once the cactus grows the second one, it senses that it, just like that, it senses that there's a block there, breaks itself, and, you know, you get some water sources, collect everything automatically. And boom, you have infinite cactus, which you can use for green dye, add bone meal, or mix it with bone meal, and you get lime green dye. Um, you can breed camels with it now. And like I said, you can surround your base with it and prevent monsters from trying to get in, as it's a good defensive wall, because they do take damage walking into it. Other than that, I mean, I guess you could build with it, but... Once you touch it, you take damage as well. So, I guess you... But you can't place any blocks next to it unless it's... No, you can't. I was thinking maybe like... Hmm, I gotta experiment more with cactus. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I Maybe one day they'll uh, introduce it where you can like craft it into something. Because, you know, you can eat cactus IRL. At least some forms. But I'm glad that you can, you know, it's got another purpose with breeding camels, so good job for introducing that. All right, 
You know the drill. Leave a like, comment, subscribe to the channel, share with your peeps, check out my other content. And thank y'all for being part of the community. Thanks for checking out my video, and I will see you in the next one. Take care. Have a great day. Bye-bye.